They say that sometimes fate is cruel. See, my immune system, it doesn't work. And the wide world out there is full of infectious agents. Bacteria, viruses, fungi. A single one is all it would take to kill me. I've had to live my whole life in quarantine. Playing outside, climbing a tree, a first kiss. Stuff you wouldn't even think twice about doing. I can't even dream of doing. At least, not yet. See, I've been working, studying, researching. What am I doing? I'm building a nanoprobe. A tiny remote-controlled robot, small enough for me to inject into my body. It's designed for one thing, to teach those lazy immune cells of mine to get up off their butts and do their job. They say that sometimes fate is cruel. Not this time. In biology, it's a lot of like reading, so you're not actually getting the interactive visual point of it. So having actual interactive game to help understand the processes more was actually better to me because it gives me the sense of understanding and the visual interactive point of actually learning it. I'd rather play a game than listen to my teacher lecture. You had to think about what you had to do because you had to think about how you had to move, you had to think about where you had to shoot, how close you had to be in order to shoot. I would rather do this than listen to a teacher because you're learning at the same time and having fun. Yeah, if you was to ask me right now what we're doing in class, I wouldn't I couldn't tell you right now. The game was more info informative on what blood cells was and the vessels and stuff that I didn't know about. I think I learned more from the game in 20 minutes than I did from my biology class in one year. Well, once you entered the infection, you started marking selecting so that way the microphage would start bonding to them and would go towards the infection.